Hi, I am Hyoga Kajitani. This is the second video about men vaza techniques, and I will explain five advanced techniques. By watching this video, you can add five more variations of techniques to the seven techniques I explained in the previous video. Let me introduce the types of men techniques. 1. Steal a distance men. 2. Katsugi men. 3. Su ki men. 4. Men faint men men. 5. Men faint ko te men. These are the techniques I practiced in high school and college. In a match, it is better to have numerous variations of techniques. You can change your technique depending on your opponent. It's worth practicing. Look for the best time to use these techniques, like when the opponent drops back or when they stay in one place too long, like you're going to hit the ground running, if your opponent always tries to use Dibana Vaza. Dibana Vaza. Counter-attack techniques delivered at the moment of Dibana a moment something someone is just about to come out. Be aware that you may be counter-attacked. Although you may learn many more variations, make sure you understand the situations in which you can use it, or else you may be stricken by your opponent. When you practice a technique, practice it with a clear image of the situation in which you will use it. Try it out in G Geiko and practice matches. G Geiko. G Geiko is a sparring style training in pairs. It is important to change each other's role according to the level of the two participants. To raise your skills to the level where you can get Epon. Then, try to use it in actual matches. Now let's get right to the explanation. First one is, steal a distance men. The technique starts from as little change as possible from the distance of Isoku Ido. Isoku Ido. From this distance one step forward allows attack, while one step back provides escape and is therefore considered the turning point of attack and defense. The difference with a small man is the footwork before the strike. The method is to move forward with both feet and then strike. Did you think the opponent might read your intent? Of course, if the attacking speed is slow, it will obviously be the timing of Okuri. Okuri, the moment that 1's intention to attack an opponent takes shape. And it will be avoided or handled by the opponent. So, you have to practice it in high school, to master this technique. After the morning practice with Hoshiko. Eda Hoshiko, a classmate and rival of Kajitani's from his Kyushu Gakuin days, winner of the All Japan Championship 2022. I practices on my own in the afternoon. In the corner where the middle school students were practicing as well. I'll show you a scene where I actually use it in a match. The advantage of moving both feet forward on this one step is you can use momentum by stepping forward. Also, you can shift your center of gravity, which leads to a fast and strong strike. There is a chance that your opponent will strike you at the moment you start moving, but if you can master this method, it can be a tremendous weapon. Steal a distance men. Second one is Katsugi Men. You can imagine this as a trajectory for Kote. If you take a big swing, you may be hit by a Dibana Kote. Dibana Kote, a kind of Dibana Vaza. A Kote Vaza to counterattack against the opponent's men. Also, an opponent may be surprised and hit Kote at the moment you swing up. Almost like an accident. So please be careful. Because you may be struck from a non-intentional strike. You need to be very careful in the preparation before striking. I'll show you a practice video later. It may be better to suppress the opponent's shinai. Before you get into the Katsugi Men motion. The reason for this is that if the shinai is pressed from above, in response, the opponent is forced to raise his hand in Shinai. By entering the Katsugi Men motion at the timing when the opponent raises, they will think, wow, it's this side, and try to avoid it. By moving to avoid the right side men, an opening is created. I practice by image training and aiming for that spot. 
If the opponent does not react when you press down on the Shinai in this way. Or if he does not break his Kame. Kame, a posture taken appropriate for action or response. The moment the Shinai is lowered and an opening is created, you can strike for men. If the opponent's hands are raised, Kote from below will be effective. If the opponent reacts quickly, or reacts to suppress men or Kote, then I think suppress Katsugi men will be effective. Ever since I was little, I wanted to be a cool kendo cop. <laughs> Lifelong journey to master kendo. Third one is Su Ki Min. I have been practicing it. But I am not good at Suki Vaza. So, I am not using this in any match. But Mr. Tsuchita was using this technique. You say Tsuchita, Kendoka from Kumamoto Prefecture, a member of the Kumamoto Prefectural Police. He is Kajitani's senior in high school and university. After Suki, he would move to Men Faint Kote. You can use the technique when the opponent backs up after Suki from the Omote side, or when they stay in place too long. You can connect it to your next movement if you don't strike successfully, or use it against an opponent who strikes for Su Ki from the Ura side, using Nuki Men a counter men after dodging an opponent's attack. Omit. The right side of an opponent's Shinai as you face them. Ura. The left side of an opponent's Shinai as you face them. If you are good at Suki Vaza, you don't just have to do unaltered Suki. I think the Nidan Vaza two step technique such as Suki Men will also become effective. Suki Men. Fourth one is, Men Faint Men Men. It sounds difficult when you just hear the words. First faint the men, then show the trajectory of the Ura men, and then strike the Omit men. As for the faint Ura men after the first men, instead of striking the opponent, if you show them the trajectory of the Katsugi men as explained earlier, I think it will work well. It is important to mislead the opponent into thinking that the Katsugi men is aiming for Ura men. Looking back at the actual image of the match, rather than using it against an opponent who raises his left fist to the left as he drops back, I used it against opponents who would hide their own right men. For the first men faint, the opponent drops back and hides their right eye. By entering into a Katsugi man like motion at the same time the opponent hides their right eye. You can make the opponent feel psychologically secure that they can avoid Ura men. But I made the strike as if my real aim was Omit men. Men faint men men. Lastly, men faint Kote men. This kind of technique will be effective for opponents who react to men faint Kote, or opponents who avoid attacks without raising their hands too much, or those who stay in place too long after their own attack. If I were to relate this to a sound, it would be the adding men faint Kote's Da Dan. To make it sound more like, da dan dan. Look at the actual movement. Men faint kote men. How was it? 
If you ask me whether the techniques can be used soon after practicing them, I would say no. This applies to other techniques, of course, but as I said at the beginning, you need to visualize how your opponent might avoid the technique, and the correct timing for you to use the technique, otherwise, it is a technique that cannot be used in a match or even in G Geiko. However, you can immediately use Sand and Vaza, without practicing it. Practice will give you other options. This, Da Dan Dan, sound of Sand and Vaza is. The same for, faint ko te to men then men, etc. You can hit with the same sound image of, da dan dan. The same goes for the ko te I hit in the Takanawa high school match. In the inter high school tournament when I was a second year student. The attack pattern is completely different. But I always try to find the timing to hit with both feet and finally aim for the ko te. This is also a technique aimed at reciprocating the footwork of, da dan dan. You can apply and use it like this. In this scene, the tempo is, dan dan da dan dan, after stepping back. The scene is completely different, but you can also apply it with footwork like this. This doesn't have a particularly deep meaning. It was interesting footwork, so I'll introduce it. Too intense lol. I just showed you a video of the part 1 just explained. It's totally different from what I just described, isn't it? However, I believe that I am able to make sudden movements in a match precisely because I practice hitting with both feet. There are others, such as, Gyaku Do Faint Men. This has been explained in detail in another video before, together with the Gyaku Do. Please watch that video. I'm sure there are many more techniques. For this video, I have explained the 5 advanced men techniques. I hope you will look forward to our next video. Thank you for watching until the end.